Welcome back to this week's video. I hope you're all doing well. This week I wanted to show you guys how to brew your own kombucha. And this is something that I literally wanted to do for the last like, 10 years. And I, yeah, it's just, it's kind of one of those things where before, if you didn't know somebody who had a little scoby, the mother kombucha, then you really weren't able to grow kombucha. That's what I assumed. But I was doing an Amazon order because as you all know, some of the stores are sold out of things, and I came across kombucha scoby, and I was like, hmm, okay, I might as well just try this. I've always wanted to brew kombucha, so yeah, I ordered it off of Amazon. It is called Brew Your Bucha. And yeah, it came in the mail, and it was very inflated, like the package was so full of air, but it all worked out, so I'm going to show you guys how to brew your own kombucha now. And if you do want to buy your own starter SCOBY from Amazon, I'll link it in the description box below. And if you do purchase it through the link, then I just get a little commission through Amazon and no charge to you. So here we go, let's get to it. So this is what it comes in. It comes in a package that is was very inflated for me and I thought maybe it would pop, but it didn't. But yeah, it's called Brew Your Bucha and it's a SCOBY, the mother which, yeah, is how you brew your kombucha. And here I bought some cheesecloth off of Amazon, but you can also just buy this from the dollar store. Anything that I link in the video, I will link it in the description box below. And so here I'm just adding eight cups of water, which is equivalent to two liters. The original recipe on the back of the SCOBY package was for four liters. So here's some black tea which I bought from Amazon as well. And I'm boiling the water here. And then once the water has come to a full boil, you're going to pour it into your heat safe container. And this is just something that I bought from Ikea. Well, it's from Ikea, I got it at the thrift store. So I'm just pouring the boiling water in. And then I will be adding the tea bags. And so it asked for 16 grams of tea and I didn't really know how much each tea bag weighed, so here I'm just weighing it. In the four liter recipe, it calls for 16 grams, so that would be around eight tea bags. If you're only using two liters, then you can use like four or five, just up to you how strong you want it. And I'm just going to be adding it to the hot water. And at this point, I'm just gonna let it steep for eight to 10 minutes, and then after that, I'm just going to take it out with a clean fork or a wooden ladle, whatever you want to use to take them out. So with the two liters thing that I'm using, I'm only using three quarter cup of sugar and it wasn't a full three quarter. As you can see, they're not full cups, full three quarter cups or they're not full one quarter cups. So yeah, I'm using three one quarter cups, which is three quarter cups. And then you just stir it until it dissolves. Mm -hmm. If I eat too much to go, I'll be so crazy. <laughs> What's that? When I eat too much to go, I'll be so crazy. So crazy. So this was later on, I actually put the tea to the side with the cheesecloth over top to let it cool down completely. And here I'm just opening up the scoby bag. And as you can see, it's really stretched to the back, but that's, that's the result of it being carbonated substance in there. And yeah, so I'm just gonna cut it open. You can see the scoby there. And at this point, it tells you to pour the whole thing in, including the juice. It's just sort of like a starter. And there we go. And at this point, you just want to add the cheesecloth to it. You'll wrap it up a few times so it's quite thick. And then you just secure it with an elastic and you're just going to put it in a yeah, place where there's not direct sunlight so I just put it in the cupboard and close the door 
And you're gonna let that sit there for six days. And then at that point, you'll try your kombucha. See if you like the how carbonated it is. You can even go a little bit longer. It's just up to you. And yeah, at this point, six days later, I'm now going to take this SCOBY out. And what I'm doing here is I'm putting it into a ster like a sterile uh, container. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of the brew into the container. I'm not actually sure if I should just put water in here, but I'm gonna use it again. And yeah, so that is how I'm just storing it until it's, yeah, just for the day, I'm gonna make more kombucha now. Yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm pouring it into a jar. And you can tell that it's really fizzy just by looking at all the bubbles. It was really, really good. Still is really good. The first two days was really fizzy and now it's kind of tamed back a bit. But you can you still know that it's kombucha just by the flavor. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. It brewed such good kombucha, I'm just like in love. So if you like kombucha, this is definitely a great alternative than just buying the store-bought ones because you can make it at home. You can make so much of it too and you just keep making it. You keep reusing the SCOBY. And I have it in this big jar here. So it made two liters, but the recipe on the brewery Bucha was for four liters. I just didn't have a four liter jar. I don't know about you, but I just love kombucha. It's so good. It's, it's fizzy. So when, you, when I first finished the brew, two days ago, three days ago, it was very fizzy. And it being in the fridge, it's kind of lost its fizziness. It's sort of like pop if you open it up. Then, yeah, over time it loses its fizziness, but mm, it's so good. Definitely a very refreshing drink filled with lots of good probiotics. Probiotics, probably. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.